I tested every dribbling technique to find the best way to beat defenders in EAFC. Who gonna start me? And I guarantee you will not know them all. These techniques run from new to old, and some of them are making a return and are being dusted off like the Arsenal trophy captain. First up, the chopping technique. I'm pretty sure most of you will know this technique. With that being said, this technique involves chopping the left stick back and forth to ensure that you are making quick, minute movements to faint the defender away. Four eyes are on, here we go. Oh, the chop away. Chop, chop. Chop, chop, yes, yes. Chop into the space, can always evade that tackle. Oh, chop, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. Evade, evade. Oh, I'm liking this one, honestly. The first one's gotta be hard to beat. I think overall, 8.5 out of 10. We then of course have R1 dribbling, a technique that most of you will be familiar with. A new invigorated technique which replaced the notorious agile dribbling with R1. A speed dribbling method to drive at defenders just like Messi did in the UEFA Champions League. And I'm going to test it out. R1 dribbling brought to us this year. I mean, it's honestly effective. Look at this. Look at this. It's just... R1. Through. 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 Beat him. Ah, oh, pummeled. Yes. Ooh. Tell you what, I don't mind this either. I think it's tough, but no doubt, I think R1 dribbling. 8 out of 10. You then have the R1 roll away technique. Now, this involves R1 sprint dribbling. However, what it entails is rolling the left stick to a 45 degree angle either side of where the defender is. This supposedly keeps your shoulder and back to the opponent so that you can actually caress the ball to the side and away from the approaching defender before he can tackle you. And we're gonna test it. Again, roll away technique, R1 dribbling. It's a game changer. Through a 45 degree angle. Here we go. Roll away, roll away, roll, oh. roll away, yes, yes, roll away from keeper, oh, it's, it's so agile, keep you back to him, 45 degree angle, 45 degree angle, roll away, oh, Oh, I like this, man. It's definitely up there to be the defender. I'd say an 8.5 yet again. It's hard to distinguish which ones are getting that edge. Then I think tap, tap, R1 dribble technique, which involves tapping the R1 button intermediately between each touch. So every time your player on the ball takes a touch, you want to tap the R1 button and subsequently use the left stick to turn in the direction that you want to turn when dribbling. This supposedly is meant to add some extra agility into the dribble and should be able to help you beat defenders in one-on-one -on -one situations. There's a technique which was discovered a few years ago Go, and we're gonna see whether this has been reincarnated. Tabity tabity. Ooh. Ooh. Tap away. Mmm, not good enough. It's quite agile when you do tap as they touch it. But you gotta ensure you take tap the R1 button as they take that touch with the ball. Bang! Faint. Whoa! I like this. Tap away. It's agile. It is agile. Oh, not good. The only negative I have is it can it can distract you a little bit. It sort of takes away from the process of building up. This is tough. Again, I just don't think it's better than chopping the stick. 8 out of 10. Solid 8 out of 10. With another notorious Straff dribbling brought to us back in 2020. And of course, Straff dribbling involves the player dragging the ball around with the tads of his football boot. 
However, with more and more dribbling techniques being developed throughout the years, the sheer validity and reliability of the Strauss dribbling technique has rapidly declined in recent years. However, not to judge a book by its cover, it's now time to dust off the old L1. Oh, Van Dyke. Dust the old L1 off. Oh, bit of ball protection. Take it back. I tell you what, it kind of protects the ball. It doesn't beat the defender, but... Take it back. It's just too slow. Bring it back, bring... Straff, man. Straff. Okay, okay, bit of ball protection. Take it back through. Nice, nice, nice. More than beating defenders, it kind of shoulders the player off. Back through. Okay. Okay, look. It doesn't hit like an R1 roll away or a tap. However, it is sufficient for protecting the ball. So, 6 out of 10. We then have the approach, retreat, and turn technique, which involves you approaching the defender and then turning back to draw him into you. You can then use your back to shoulder him off and turn him with a slight maneuver. And when I say slight maneuver, I'm talking about fainting that defender away. Now, it is a similar technique to the chopping technique. However, instead we are baiting the defender in this time, rather than facing him one-on-one. -on -one. All right, go in, come back. Yes. Good. Not bad. Managed to beat. Now come back. Yes. Yes. Now come back. That through. Bang! I just feel as though with this technique, again, it's another distraction. You sort of tunnel visioned, trying to focus on the defender too much. I think it really takes away from the process of actually trying to break down your opponent. A solid six and a half for this one. The shot cancel. It would not be a dribbling techniques video without this technique. Now, although you might be thinking it's a shooting technique, Dylan, it's not a dribbling technique. I beg to differ. If you see this in previous years, we're dusting the cover off and we're bringing it back. The shot cancel. Is it back? Ooh, fainted in there. Again. Again, it just doesn't hit the same, does it? Uh, that was a fail. Again, <laughs> couldn't cancel in time. Faint. Mm. Back. It just doesn't. It was different gravy in 2020. Fortunately, this gravy has gone a bit mouldy. Ooh, the cutback. Oh, no. No, it just does not cut it. Four out of ten. We then have the rolling technique, which entails you rolling in and out throughout the space, whilst at the same time attempting to kind of evade the defender. Now, it doesn't incorporate chopping, which means it may be a little bit harder to faint away the initial defender. However, again, not to judge a book by its cover, that's for us today to find out. Rolling away. Roll through. Ooh, nice. Nice. And roll. Mm. Just doesn't faint him enough. Ooh. Ooh. Left in the dust, son. Left in the dust. Roll through. Roll through. Mm. Just doesn't cut it. Just doesn't hit like a chop motion, does it? After enduring blood, sweat, and tears, and testing every single technique of dribbling in EAFC to beat opponents, it came down to sudden death. We went into a game and tested each technique a total of five times in one-on-one -on -one situations with a defender to see how many times we would be able to beat that defender with each of these techniques. First up, roll away. Oh, there's one. And there's two. Get this! Oh, 
Does that count though? I don't know if it does. There's one. There's two. There's... Oh, two! It's a point for the roll. One, two. Bang! Oh, how not? But it's another point for the R1 roll. Good win. One. Two. Oh! I thought we were in there, but that's... Three out of four for the R1 roll. It's looking promising. One. Two. Two! <laughs> oh, the cap in a four out of five. It came down to this. Choppity, choppity, here we go. One. Four. Nope. What? What the block? 85 Varan! One. Two. <laughs> Sent! Sent! What a win. Come to me, come to me. One. Oh. I think that summarizes our answer. And so it was settled. The R1 45 degree roll away technique is the best for beating defenders in the AFC. And I think we can summarize that it is safe to say that as EA brings more and more realism into this game, there will be more and more frustration from the casual player because that is nearly impossible to defend in one on one situations. I am coaching one on one. Check it out, the link down below. And if you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy this one here enjoyed the video then i'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and lastly if you do want any pre-gaming fuel or supplement then head over to atpscience.com which is the first link in the description and use the code dylanets atp at checkout to get yourself a discount not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements but it helps me out a ton guys so thank you